Chris Veltmeister. Well, do you guys remember me posting a video talking about Verstappen moving to Mercedes and the possibilities of it just before the Hungarian Grand Prix? Well, I think Red Bull's appalling performance at the Hungarian Grand Prix despite bringing a sizable upgrade package and Verstappen strongly vocalizing his frustration further aids to the possibilities. See, it's no surprise that Red Bull's performance in the last 4-5 to five races has been really poor. I mean, not to the standards that they had set for themselves from 2023. How Verstappen managed to rack up a couple of wins and some podiums is still beyond me. I think Perez's struggle clearly paints the picture as to how bad the car really is to drive. I mean, even Verstappen himself said in multiple interviews that the RB20 is really tricky to drive. But the Hungarian Grand Prix really showcased the held up frustration of Max Verstappen. I mean, Verstappen was not happy with the car's performance drive from qualifying. He was not happy with the handling and the performance of the RB20. The fact that the car was performing so poorly even with such a major upgrade package which was supposed to make the car better clearly paints a picture as to why Verstappen is frustrated with the team. I also don't get the haters trying to paint Verstappen as a crybaby and that he only won races and championships because he had a fast car. Though that's partially true because you do need a quick car to win races consistently, you also need an equally quick driver to exploit the car's full potential to win races week in and week out. And that's what Verstappen is really good at. He's extremely quick and he's extremely consistent at doing it when the car is handling to his liking. In Hungary, Verstappen was not comfortable with his car. I mean, right from qualifying, he was complaining about lack of grip and in the race, it was even worse because he complained about understeering into the corners and that he was not able to brake properly to his liking. On top of it, knowing the track's characteristics of being difficult to overtake, the team should have made sure that he doesn't get undercut by his competition. But Red Bull let both Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc undercut Verstappen, making the race really difficult for him. I'm sure that if Verstappen was in P3 and it was Hamilton chasing him down, Verstappen would have made the car really wide and made it nearly impossible for Hamilton to get by knowing the attributes of the track. So the strategy for once was off from the team who are always pretty much on it on these side of things. So all this built up frustration made Max Verstappen blow a fuse on the radio, giving it right back to the team. I also don't get people trying to crucify Verstappen for his hot takes on the radio. I mean, he is a champion who expects the best from his team like any champion would. And this was not just a vent out but an open warning to the team, expressing his feelings of visibly seeing his team slip away from just fighting the McLarens to now fighting Mercedes and Ferrari. He also has years of experience working with GP who is his race engineer, so they both clearly know what each other mean when they say something. So there's literally nothing wrong with Verstappen being extremely vocal about his feelings about the car's performance. But yeah, this looks like a bigger problem for Red Bull because they really are slipping away. Spa should be a track in which they should perform really well considering their past results. But if McLaren ends up being quicker there as well, then with literally half of the season left to go, I think Red Bull are in a bigger trouble because it's not just the constructors title at stake, but also the drivers. Because as I said before in one of my earlier videos, Max Verstappen can only punch above his weight for a while. With Mercedes already looking like a regular podium contender and could match the race pace of the race winner at some tracks, clearly shows that with the right upgrades, Mercedes should become a race winning team towards the tail end of the season. With Toto Wolff constantly knocking on the doors of Verstappen to give him a seat as early as 2025, if Mercedes continues to get quicker and quicker with Red Bull getting slower, I think the move is very much possible because you can't offer to be in a slower team during your prime, especially knowing that you have another team knocking on the doors that even in a worst case scenario would just be a sideways step, not a backwards one, but has all the potential to become champions again. Though it's too early to comment on a concrete assessment of whether Max Verstappen would make the switch to Mercedes for 2025. The possibilities are still there. And as I said before, if Red Bull continues to slip away and Mercedes continues to build on their momentum to become consistent race winners by the tail end of the 2024 season, the move could very much happen considering all the variables and circumstances. 
so yes guys these are my thoughts and opinion on this whole situation and i hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comments on what are your thoughts on all of this i'm curious to know so leave it down in the comments with that being said subscribe to the red master channel if you haven't already and also hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and until next time it's me vinesh from red master and i'm out love you guys stay safe peace